I plan to create a series of videos on scenario-based interview questions. These questions uh, are something that I've obtained from my learners, my uh, participants who have attended training with us. And when they went and faced the interviews with the various organizations, what are the kind of questions that they were um, given to answer? So I'm trying to contact all my previous students and I'm trying to get these questions and I'll try to compile a few videos on that. Now, um, these are not just interview questions because from the questions that I've got obtained from my learners, they're not just interview questions. They are also questions that we come across in real time. Okay, while we are working on projects, different scenarios that we are faced, that we face, and then how we approach them, how we solve them. Okay, it's not just from interview point of view, but also uh, a real-time application of the concepts that you learn in the training. Okay, so I hope it would be helpful. And for uh, interview questions, question bank, you could visit our 360 Digit MG website. Just you can do a search for you know, interview questions from 360 Digit MG for Tableau or here's the link up here. I will uh, pin this link in the comment section so you can access the link anytime from there. We have 60 plus questions in our question bank related to Tableau. Of course, there are many other uh, courses on which questions are available. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check them. And we have the questions and then of course, solutions also, right? Otherwise it wouldn't make sense. So the answers are also over here for each and every question stated above. All right. So please do visit this website and you can um, get an idea about the questions. And of course, some typical ones where a detailed explanation is required. I would be making videos on that. Okay. So without much delay, let's get started with the first question. What are the different ways to compute prior year to current year growth or in simple terms, year over year growth in Tableau? See, uh, when this question is given, I'm sure all of you would be thinking about the quick table calculation, y o y growth. But the catch is we have to show all the other possibilities also. Okay, so let's dive in and look at it. Now, the version of Superstore I'm using here has data for four different years. Okay, the latest year 2022 is also available. Okay, so I'm making this video on 28th of December today, 2022. So we have data for 2022, which becomes the current year. And the prior year would be 2021. Uh, and let's say I have to look at the profit. Now I'm interested in comparing the current year with the prior year. So I don't need the other two years. I'm going to simply select them and exclude them from my chart. Quick filter. Okay, quickly we remove what is not necessary. Now, given these two, how can we compute the growth? Clearly, there has been a good improvement from 82K. It has increased to almost 96K, right? So one very, very easy way of doing it is to apply the quick table calculation year over year growth. Immediately, Tableau will compute and give you the answer. So there has been a 16% growth. Now, how do we see the actual profit along with the growth? You can simply drag profit into the table and make sure you drop it there when you see the watermark show me on the mouse pointer. Okay, so that comes. This is the profit and this is the growth. You might want to interchange it a little like this. Show the profit first, then the growth. There is another way of displaying this. Okay, this is as simple as computing the difference between the two years data and expressing the difference in percentage format. So given the structure of my table, even if I choose percent difference as the quick table calculation, it would work there. Same answer. Now let me bring in profit also into this shelf. So you can see the values, you can see the percent growth, whether I have gone with uh, difference from formula or I have gone with YOY, you're giving me the same result. Okay, given the structure of my chart and the data. All right, now how do we do this through calculated fields is what we will see. Okay, so using calculations. All right, using calculations. Okay, so I'm going to create a calculated field wherein I will take the 
current year profit. So how do I get the current year profit into this calculated field, right? If the year part of the order date field is equal to the year part of today, then we will look for the profit and end. So what is this formula going to do? Today is a function that is there in Tableau, which fetches the current date. So this would fetch something like, okay, it is 28th of December 2022. This would be the date it will fetch. If I run this formula today, this is what it would fetch. And what are we taking? This is what today will give us. But we are asking only for the year part of today, which means this expression is going to return 2022. And only for those order dates where the year is 2022, we are getting the profit. I hope you understood. Where the year of order date is equal to the output of this is 2022. Meaning for 2022, we are getting the profit data and storing it in this calculated field with the name current year profit. Okay. So let me click on OK there. And now I need the prior year profit. So I'll just go up there, create another calculated field for prior year profit. So how to get the data for the year prior to the current year? If the year of order date is equal to year of today minus one, then we need the profit. So what would this do now? Year of today means year of year part of the current date is 2022. If I run it next year on 1st of Jan, it will automatically update to 2023. Okay. Because we're going with today. Minus one, meaning this whole expression is going to give me the year as 2021. And where the year is 2021, for such transactions, we are looking at the profit and storing it in a field called as prior year profit. Okay, so that is prior year profit. Let me show you the current year profit here and the prior year profit over here. If you want, you can cross check with the previous sheet. Current year, that is 2022, 95,926, which is what we obtained here. And the year prior to it is 2021, 82, 665, which is what I have here. Now I need to see the growth. Okay. So for that, we will build another formula. Growth percent. And how to write this? It would be the summation of the prior year data minus, sorry. It would be the summation of the current year data minus the prior year data. Okay, and this has to be enclosed in brackets because we are going to use a division operator here divided by the prior year data. This is the formula for growth. Now, when there are multiple arithmetic operators, Tableau will go with the board mass rule. So whatever is in the brackets will get evaluated first, which means this part will be evaluated first. Followed by that order, we don't have anything, exponents, then division. Then the answer obtained from this on that the division operator will work. Okay. If I do not give these brackets, then what would happen is first division precedes subtraction, right? So it will perform division. It will divide this by this, giving me one. And then whatever is the current year profit minus one it would do, which is not correct, right? So you need to be careful when there are multiple arithmetic operators about the order of execution. Brackets, then exponents or order, division, multiplication, addition, final last thing is subtraction. Here we want to make sure that subtraction happens first and then division. Therefore, this part is enclosed in brackets which will be evaluated first. All right. Now you might think that this is growth percent. So aren't we supposed to divide, uh, multiply this with 100? We will not do that here because I will do it through formatting. Okay. So let me take growth and show it to you. 
this is the growth 16.04% 16.04% but because i didn't multiply it with 100 it's coming as 0 0.1604 now i will go ahead and format it and i will format the growth percent and express it as a percentage now you can see that we've got the desired output okay so this is exactly what we wanted current year to prior year growth i am going to right click on measure names and add it to the sheet so that we can see each and every value there and now i'll drag in prior year profit above current year and growth as the last line item so prior year current year and the growth okay this is another way of doing it so this works pretty fine when we are dealing with current data meaning in my data source i have data for 2022 that is my current year and then prior year is 2021 fine but what if you are working with a different um, data where you might have slightly old data for example the general superstore that we use that is available on the internet it has access, uh, it has data from 2014 up to 2017. Now, if I apply this formula current year over here, I will not get any data. Sorry, I will not get any data because here I am referencing today. So it is going to bring me data for 2022, but because we don't have data for 2022, this calculated field will not have anything it will just remain null so using today's you can get the output provided you're working with current data but if you're working with old data then using today will not help we must use a different technique so from the list of years for which we have data we need the latest data we need the year uh, data for the latest year over here which is 2017 and the year prior to it would be 2016 Okay, so how to build the formula? Current year data we will take here. So if the year of order date is equal to year of what? Year of whatever is the maximum year that is present in the order date field. So irrespective of the chart, we need to fetch the maximum order date and take the year part of it. That is why LOD will come into play. Pick stat. I will not specify any dimensions for the entire data in the database. I need to get the maximum of order date. Okay. So what would this do? It would essentially fetch the maximum order date. Okay. It will fetch the maximum date present in the order date field, the highest date. And then it will take the year part from it. And for that particular year, we are supposed to get the profit data and N. Okay, so if you are not familiar with what is LOD and how it works, you can refer to the video that I made on LOD expressions. Focus mainly on the fixed LOD part because that is the most important one. And then you can uh, go ahead and implement it. Okay. So I shall give you the links to LOD uh, expression videos in the comment section. You can refer from there. All right. So this is going to fetch me the data for whatever is the maximum year in my data source, which is 2017. And it will keep it here. Now on similar lines, I need the information for the year prior to the uh, current year which is 2017 right so prior year data it will be the same the only thing is here I'll have to do a minus one whatever is the year fetched by this formula which would be 2017 minus one meaning 2016 so now we're getting data for 2016 now that I have current year data and the prior year data I will simply go ahead and compute the growth percent which would be sum of current year data minus the sum of prior year data. And remember to enclose this in curly brackets, oh, sorry, not curly brackets, in simple brackets divided by the sum of prior year data. Okay, job done. 
And now let's see the information. Current year data, this version of Superstore that I have is this. And the prior year data, let me drop it on it so we can see the prior year data. Let's maybe bring prior year, uh, take it above current year. And then finally, the growth percent in there. So it's showing zero. Let me go and format it. And uh, the growth percent, we will show it as a percentage. Now you can see it is 14.24%. Okay, 14.24%. So to confirm or to cross check, let me do it with LOD expression. By applying, so you can see 93,439 is that of current year, okay? And the prior year 2016, 81,795, which we obtained. And the growth percent by applying YOY growth, that's the growth percent, okay? 14.24, which is exactly what we got. So these are the different ways in which we can go ahead and compute the growth from prior year to current year. How much improvement is there or whatever it might be, which can also be simply called as year over year growth. Hope this helps. See you all in the next video. Thank you.